when you come to LSU, you want to be elite. You want to recruit elite players, and you want to be coached by elite. And uh, the development that our coaching staff has done with these young men has been a great accomplishment. Tiger fans, I'm Emily Dixon and you're watching Inside LSU Football presented by Community Coffee. The Tigers hit the road this past weekend and we are here to fill you in on all the SEC action. On this week's episode, we caught up with quarterback Max Johnson on his record setting start, dive into the film room to break down some of the biggest plays from LSU's youngest stars and have all the highlights and post game interviews from LSU versus Mississippi State. Settle in, Tiger fans. This is Inside LSU Football, presented by Community Coffee. Inside LSU Football, presented by Community Coffee, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official health care provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Coca. Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Bud Light. There is only one quarterback in LSU football history who has thrown for at least three touchdowns in their first five starts. And no, his name is not Joe Burrow. It's Max Johnson. Let's get to know the man under center and the quarterback who will lead the Tigers into the heart of conference play. I find it interesting that you, you know, you competed for the job last fall. Yep. Um, you competed for the job when Miles got hurt, and then you finally got the job later in the season. So those first two times when you go through the competition you, and you're not named the starter, what, what's your mindset? Were you disappointed? Were you head down? Keep, how do you respond to that that failure at first? Um, I was frustrated at first for the first couple of days, and then I was, you know, I, I didn't want that to affect my play, so then I just... You know, I got, I sat down, and I just, I kind of just talked to myself and said, I, I don't want this to affect me. I don't want this to affect my play. And um, yeah, I kind of just put my head down and, you know, kept working. And I think that that's what kind of gained the respect of my teammates and uh, that's, and the gained respect of my coaches. And when the time happened um, to get my chance, I think I was ready. I feel like competition is a word that really resonates with you going back to your childhood and, and your family. Um, tell me about the competition in the Johnson household growing up it feels like everything was imbued with competitive drive whether it was you know obviously football but yep. the games that y'all played T talk about the competition you grew up around yeah I just I just I feel like I try to be competitive in everything I do whether it's you know trying to win um you know ping pong or win playing you know uh shuffleboard or win playing all the little games uh video games whether it's anything I just feel like um uh, there's a winning attitude that I try to go by myself and you know, just trying to be relentless and just trying to be the most competitive uh, person I can be every single day. I know you get asked all the time about your dad. I feel like your mom is kind of the underrated athlete in the family here. Tell me about what you've gotten from your mom, because we know your dad, quarterback, all that stuff. But yep. I feel like the mom yeah. brought some athletic genes to the table yep. that aren't getting the, the so credit they deserve. She she played volleyball at USF. Um, she had the record for the most kills, which was which has been broken. Um, but uh, her nickname's Killa. Um, That's a great yeah, not, yeah, but she she likes to say she's the most she's the most athletic in our family. <laughs> uh, that's where me and my brother got it from. But yeah, I think she's 
um, yeah, I think she's super competitive. Um, she's fun to have around, uh, you know, we all love her. I read that your dad makes everything a game, everything's a competition. I play a lot of spike ball and that yep. sort of thing. Um, what was what was that like to grow up in and around? And, and it, it just seems like an ideal childhood to me, right? Like you're constantly having fun and everything's yeah. a game, but it's that balance of work and play. Like you're having fun while working and to, and to marry those two things together to me seems really important. Yeah, I think that's just the way it's got to be, whether it's, you know, I think just having fun while you work is the way it's got to be, whether you love it or not. I think um, your work is your fun. Um, I've grown up in a family with all my cousins, and uh, all my brothers and my family just being around sports was kind of sweet I think just um, you know them being so tough on you know our family has just been kind of fun for us You need more layers, diagonal layers. I gotta run, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you preach you the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Hey, wait, Whenever no, packing the cooler no, really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. Fake, mi amor. Mm -hmm. Ice cream? Yeah! Okay. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. The difference is putting in the extra work to get better. The difference is spending the extra hours to get it right. The difference is fighting for the extra yard to get the win. At Delta DeBosia, we're proud of all the student athletes who give that extra something that makes them tigers. If you've been injured, we're ready to go the extra yard for you. That's the Dudley DeBosier difference. Demand Dudley DeBosier, official partner of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Our Lady of the Lake Children's Health, one of Louisiana's largest pediatric health care networks. If you watched the LSU vs. Central Michigan game earlier this season, you weren't only happy for a Tigers win, but you had to be pumped about the future of the program, with guys like Deion Smith, Jack Besh, and Corey Kiner all with huge games. So how did these LSU freshmen shine so brightly? Well, we went into the film room with former Tiger Jacob Hester and LSU's Cody Worsham to break down some of the biggest plays from the Tigers' youngest stars. Here's what they learned. Jacob, we're going to go through some plays from LSU's win over Central Michigan, and the story of the day was the young guy stepping up. Yeah, we had really too many freshmen to be able to pick out one guy to sit here and do the film room with me, so we wanted to do it as a tandem because there's a lot of guys that we want to talk about. One thing first before we start the film that really stood out, LSU really picked up the tempo in this game. 16.1 seconds left on the play clock per play on the first drive of the game, much faster than LSU's been playing. Critical play here from the, the freshman. Watch the physicality 
at the point of attack. We talked about the physicality to finish the last play. Watch the phys physicality to start this play. Yeah, and you got to do this, right? If you've got some young offensive linemen, as you do here, you've got Hill at left tackle. Hill's been kind of of a cross trainer. He's been a guard. He's been a tackle. So you want to help him out a little bit. Anytime they got someone on the edge and you can get a, a chip shot on them, right? We used to call that like a dozen ribs. See if you can get a dozen <laughs> ribs and get into that defender to slow him down to help your tackle out because then your tackle gets to help the guard a little bit, right? He gets to slow down the guard's rush, and then he gets to get back on his guy because of the job that you did. So it's really nice before you even run your route from Jack Besh. We've seen LSU use levels plenty of times before. Just a little two-level concept here. Easy read for Max. He just looks at that safety. If the safety stays deep and Smith is taken away or that linebacker drifts deep and, and takes away Deion Smith, Jack Besh is underneath. That linebacker stays tight. Deion Smith is open over the top. So lots of options here for Max Johnson to pick from. Yeah, it's a nice job by Max, too, just knowing the situation. Don't try to force anything. Could you try to maybe throw the cell route here, the corner route? Yeah, maybe you could. But it's a really nice job of just knowing the situation, checking it down to your freshman tight end and picking up the first down. All right, the very next play, not much that we have to say about this one. Jack Besh has already shown what he can do as a freshman, and now the next true freshman steps up and shows what he can do as well. At the end of the day, sometimes you have to realize who you have on the outside, and you have to realize that your guy is going to be better than their guy. And you throw it up, and you allow your guy to just go make a ball play. How many times did we see this in 2019 where Joe knew that Jamar and Justin and Terrace were the better player, right? He had one-on-one -on -one coverage, and he said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to throw it to my guy, give him a chance to make a play on the ball. And that's exactly what you see here from Smith. And Max realizes he's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. He doesn't overthink it, and he just throws it up and allows his receiver to go get it. And boy, did he go and get it. First of all, great protection up front from LSU. Max had all day to throw this football, so credit to them. Uh, yet again, another shot downfield for LSU. Coming into the game, Max had only taken four shots downfield all season long. He took two on this drive, seven for the game, and you see how that pays off here. All right, let's take it to the next clip. Another Corey Kiner run. This one near the goal line. No more important place on the field to finish, to get the job done. And what Corey Kiner does here, again, spectacular and uncoachable. Again, nice play call. And at the end of the day, man, I can't tell you what the confidence level of a true freshman to be able to pull this move in the red zone. I don't care what the score to the game was, right? Because these are his valuable reps. It doesn't matter what you think about the reps and the point of the game. These are true freshman valuable reps. And instead of just playing it safe, he trusts his abilities, pulls the spin move out, finishes in the end zone. And maybe it's because I didn't have that in my repertoire, but I always love a good spin move there because one of our favorite backs, Clyde Edwards Elair, obviously specialized in that move. And a lot of fans enjoy seeing that type of play from an LSU running back. There's a lot to love about this play, Hester. Uh, I want to start at the very beginning with the throw from Max Johnson. Uh, before the ball gets into Deion Smith's hands, when special things definitely start to happen, the throw from Max is just spectacular. It is, and he allows everything to play itself out, right? He knows what concept he has. He knows that he's got to step up in this pocket because we're talking about pocket presence so much with Max. He doesn't bail on this pocket. He knows that it's being blocked to be able to step up, allow your routes to play themselves out, and then he, del uh, then he delivers a strike down the field. And I really love his feet on this throw, too. You can see his feet just staying set, staying set, staying set. Allows him to keep his balance and deliver a strike here to Deion Smith. Okay, now, Deion Smith catches the ball and special things happen in a number of places. I'll let you take it from there. All right, so I know you want to get to the move that Deion Whoop. Smith made because who's he remind you of? Uh, have we seen Deion Smith and Justin Jefferson in the same room? <laughs> I haven't. I don't know if you have. If he was wearing two here, I would swear it was Justin Jefferson. That's a Justin Jefferson versus Clemson in the national championship game cut. The, the, the start-stop ability, the ability to change direction, playing at his own speed. Deion Smith has that special quality. Coach O's compared to Justin Jefferson before. Yeah. We've seen it now on the field. Great session of the film room here with Jacob Hester breaking it down as always. We'll see you next time. Coming up after the break, it's time to get fans all caught up from the news and notes from an early morning kickoff in Starkville. We've got all the highlights from the Tigers versus the Bulldogs. Plus, we talked to LSU head coach Ed Ogeron to get his thoughts on the game and what it means for the Tigers moving forward.
You need more layers, diagonal layers. I got it, Ron. Thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach you the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a Plumsky method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay. I'm out. What's his problem? Whenever packing the cooler really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. But one thing hasn't changed. Our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. Video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. Hey, everybody, let's have some fun. The time is right, the part is just begun. Have a good time, strong. On game day, Tiger fans know how to bring it. And with best available horsepower in its class and payload, plus with the power of a mobile generator, you can take it all with you. Ford Trucks, let the good times roll. Get 0% financing for 72 months, plus 1,000 retail custom order bonus cash on F-150 at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change, so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone, because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by LSUshop.net. For the latest in sideline apparel, gifts, and all things LSU Tigers, go to LSUshop.net. On November 20th, 1896, two schools met in Baton Rouge to face one another in this game we all know as football. Some 125 years later, they still schedule an annual battle, and today for the 115th time, they meet again as the Mississippi State Bulldogs welcome in your Fighting Tigers of LSU. Here's the snap on third and five, goes underneath, has heat, heat, got hit, dropped the football, picked up by the Tigers at the 30, coming the way up the near sideline with the ball is going to be Damone Clark, and eventually he'll be run out of bounds. Ball on the near side has Johnson looking right now back towards the middle, throws back to the right. Catch going to be made at the 18 yard line by Brian Thomas. And Thomas with some yards after the catch get inside the 15. Johnson, a lot of pressure. They bring the blitz. He gets away, throws front of the end zone, and catch is made. Touchdown, Tigers. He shot Bute going for the slide and the grab. Rogers, shotgun snap. Airs this one towards the corner, going up, high pointing the football, taking it away is Cordell Flock, intercepted by the Tigers. Here's the snap back to Trapper, lets it go from the 20 yard line. And a booming punt into this one. Palmer backpedaling, takes it at the 15, hit by his own man, stays up right now. He's got a team of blockers far side. 25 20, up the sideline to the 40 before being laid out at about the 40 40 yard line. As it turned out, Mississippi State takes the punt. Now on first down and 10 with the final play of the second quarter. Ali Gay is going to track down Will Rogers and sling him to the ground. Max Johnson, shotgun snap, delayed handoff. Ty Davis Price looking for a seam, fights through two defenders across the 30 and carries a Bulldog out of bounds. Calls for the snap, he now has it. Pulls it out of the belly, looking to throw, got it to Butte at midfield. Butte between the hashes, down the field, gets by the final defender. Touchdown, Fighting Tigers, 64-yard touchdown reception. And the Tigers come out blasting here in the third quarter. It's 13-3 with 14.22 to go 
in the third quarter. Mississippi State offense start from their own 20. Pump fake by Rodgers. Looks right, looks left. Gets away from pressure. Steps up in the pocket. Going to be pulled down. Ali Gay will bring him down from behind at the 21. Throw in and bobble. Knocked into the air and incomplete. Good for 12. Mississippi State on third down. Rodgers with some pressure. We're going to short arm this throw. Far side. His intended receiver was at the 29. On first and 10, Johnson all day. Launches one deep down the field, waiting for it. Palmer has it at the 11. Wide open, touchdown, fighting Tigers. 58-yard pass from Max Johnson. And somebody let Palmer loose. Nobody within 15 yards of Palmer just waiting for the ball to get there. Fifth punt of the day for Avery Atkins. Bulldogs came after it. He gets it away. Angling near side and out of bounds near the 20. Personal foul. Leaping the shield. Number 54 the defense. This is a 15-yard penalty enforced in the previous five with an automatic first down. Third down, a little less than three. Tigers want to reach the 38-yard line of the Bulldogs. Pressure comes. Johnson unloads. Catch made by Cole Taylor at the 30 far side. Down the sideline. 10-5. Touchdown, Tigers. Cole Taylor with a 41-yard touchdown reception. His first of the year. Uh, I kind of say our offense improved. And really our defense. Defense came out, played their heart out. I feel like offense, we played good. I mean, there's always room for improvement. We could have played better. But big shout out to the defense. Yeah, our defense played their hearts out. And last night, Coach Joe said he was just, he was speaking his mind. He was saying, you know, the, say I throw a pick or say something happens, they got my back and I got there. So I, I really appreciate, you know, Coach O and our team. I love our defense. You know, there's some dogs. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun going out there and competing. Well, first of all, I just want to say I'm um, proud of the way our team fought. Um, you know, we, we fought to the end. I mean, I'm, I can't be any more proud of the way our team played. But to answer your question, I mean, that's, that's Mississippi State offense. I mean, you just got to, you know, all week the coach has been harping on, don't take the cheese, you know, just let them throw the check down and just live to see another play. So, I mean, I just, I'm just proud of the way we play, but, you know, there's always room for improvement. You know, we know we, know we got to work on and we're going to get it fixed. Yes, sir. I, I really like the win. I feel like we could have put up more points as an offense, but sometimes you just got to be grateful you won. Yes, that was important to us. Um, as you can see, we were successful with it. And being back out there, I'm glad to be back out there. Man, it was, it was, I ain't like just saying that. It was bold. Yeah, I think Coach Peach just dialed up some really good plays. Whether if they're playing zero coverage or man to man, I think Coach uh, Coach Peach called you know specific plays to beat that coverage, and we were able to capitalize. And um, Kayshawn made some big plays for us. Cole had his first touchdown, which was pretty sweet. So. fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like... It's looking kind of chilly out today. What am I going to wear? I think I'll go with... A cardigan. Yep, even easier than that. And with a top-rated app that lets you deposit checks and transfer money anytime, anywhere, is it really even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, 
the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change, so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone, because at LSU, our calling is humanity. When you support, she soars. When you donate, he delivers. When you provide, they prevail. Since 1987, TAF members have lifted the minds, bodies, and spirits of LSU student athletes, making sure they have what they need to succeed in competition, the classroom, and in life. When you give, they go. This segment of Inside LSU Football brought to you each week by Community Coffee, the official coffee of LSU athletics. The Tigers opened up SEC play on the road with a 28 to 25 win oh, over the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And Coach O, I know that things got a little too close, a little nerve wracking in the fourth quarter, but you go on the road, 11 a.m. kickoff, and you get the win. What was the mood in the locker room like with this team? Yeah, the guys were very happy when they were tired. Our coaches were very happy. You know, we had a meeting this morning at 6.30. All our players were early, ready to go. We had an hour bus ride over here. Nobody blanked. We started fast. We said we have to come in, hands up, enemy territory. We had those turnovers. I thought our, our team played very well. I wish we could have finished a lot stronger in the third and fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter, I know you're not pleased with some of those last minute touchdowns of the game, but you came in with a defensive plan and the staff that was good. It worked the majority of the game and from forced turnovers to tackling. What did you see from your defense today? I thought uh, Coach Durante Jones and our defensive staff had a great plan. We had to be patient. We knew they were going to throw the ball in front, but we weren't going to let them throw the ball over our head, make them work it down the field. And we thought that once, once they started working down the field, we could cause turnovers, and we did. Speaking of those turnovers, you were without Derek Stingley Jr., but Jay Ward returns and some big yeah. games for some of those DBs, especially Cordell Flott. Yeah. Did you sense that those guys were really taking this game as a challenge? No question They're about stepping up. You know, Derek you know, was a great player for us. He was hurt, but next man up, everybody's got to step up. I thought Corey Raymond and Durante Jones did a great job of coaching our guys today. Hats off to them. Okay, nine players on offense caught passes on Saturday here at Mississippi State, but Kayshawn Butte adds two more touchdowns to his stat line, hits over 1,000 career yeah. uh, yards. You've had a lot of players who've been able to open up a game, but I'm yeah. guessing that he's at the top of that one. He's a great player. We love him. We love Kayshawn. He's a team leader. He's a hard worker. And guess what? He's going to get better. Okay, Max Johnson, a four touchdowns. What is it about his game that has this team 3-0 and in the SEC when he's a starter? You know, you know, Max has really, really settled down. We took a lot off his plate. We had too much in the first game. He's very accurate. He's a smart player, can run, takes care of the football, and has a strong arm. Okay, lastly, we are about to get back on this plane with a win going home to yes. Baton Rouge and the SEC home opener versus Auburn, 8 p.m. Tiger Stadium. What kind of momentum is this team bringing into this game now? You know, huge momentum. Uh, we're going to lead our crowd. Auburn's a very good football team, as we know. We've been so far. It comes down to the last play. But every time we play at home, our crowd is, is the winning edge, and we're going to need them in there to Tiger Walk. 8 o'clock on Saturday night, they get a chance to get revved up during the day. It's going to be wonderful. Let's go. Congratulations, Coach O. Looking forward to seeing you in Tiger Stadium. Thank you. Go Tigers. When you come to LSU, you want to be elite. You want to recruit elite players and you want to be coached by Lee. And uh, the development that our coaching staff has done with these young men has been a great accomplishment.